Hello guys, welcome to my channel. So in this video, pag-aaralan natin ang circle and its parts. Okay, so this is a circle. So yung dot na nakikita nyo sa gitna nyan, yan yung tinatawag na center. So yung line or segment mula sa center patungo sa kahit saang part ng circle, yan yung tinatawag na radius. And then yung line or segment na mula sa part ng circle, patungo sa another part ng circle, yan yung tinatawag na chord. And then yung, kapag yung chord na yun, tumama sa center, yan na yung tinatawag na diameter. So yung diameter is the longest segment in the circle. And yung radius ay kalahati ng diameter. So diameter is equal to 2 radius. Okay, for example, so tawag dito is circle M. So yung bilog na may tuldok sa gitna, yan yung symbol ng circle. Papangalanan natin siya kung ano yung point ng center. So, this is circle M. And radius. So, meron tayong dalawang radius. Line MA or line AM, pareho lang yun. Line MC or line CM. And diameter. So, line CA. And we have the chord line BD. Let's have an example. If line MA is equal to 24, find line CM and line CA. Okay. So, sabi niya, kapag yung MA, saan saan yung MA? So, ito. Mula dito sa center papunta sa A. Is 24. So, ang radius niya is 24. Find CM. So, yung CM is another radius. So, dahil pareho silang radius, so pareho lang sila ng measurement. So, that is also 24. So, CM, or line CM, is equal to 24. How about line CA? Okay, so, yung line CA is yung diameter. So, dahil 24 yung radius, so that is 24 times 2. So, double lang natin yung measurement ng radius. And that is equal to 24 times 2, that is 48. Next, if line BE is equal to 10, find line BD. So, asan nga ba yung BE? So, ito yung BE. This is 10. Find BD. So, BD is yung buong chord. So, kung 10 ito, yung, so, kung 10 yung line BE, so, it means yung line ED is also 10. Kasi nasa hinati siya ng diameter. So, it is equally divided. So, line BE or line BD is equal to 20. If line MA is equal to X plus 5 and line CA is equal to 3X plus 5, find line CM and line MA. Okay. So, sabi, line MA is X plus 5. So, ang radius niya ay equal sa X plus 5. And line CA is equal to 3X plus 5. So, yung diameter, that is 3x plus 5. Okay, so, find CM and MA. <clears throat> Bago natin mahanap yung mga value ng line CM at line MA, hanapin mo natin yung value ng x. Okay, so, that is 3x plus 5. And that is equal to twice ng radius, which is x plus 5. So, that is 3x plus 5 is equal to 2 times x, that is 2x. 2 times 5, that is 10. Okay, so combining like terms, pagsamayan nyo parang may x, so that is 3x. Yung 2x, magiging negative 2x is equal to 10. And then, positive 5, yan ay magiging negative 5. 3x minus 2x, that is x. And that is 10 minus 5, that is 5. So, x is equal to 5. Okay, so, hanapin natin yung value ng line MA. So, line MA is equal to x plus 5. Okay, so, subdicate natin yung value ng x. So, that is 5 plus 
5. And 5 plus 5, that is 10. So line MA is equal to 10. How about line CM? So ito 10 na to. So kapag 10 yung MA, so yung CM is also 10. And how about the diameter? So 10 plus 10, that is 20. Kapag may point sa loob ng circle, maliban sa center, yun ay tinatawag na interior. So sa loob ng circle, yun yung interior. At sa labas ng circle, yun yung exterior. So, so dito, point A is in the interior. And point B is in the exterior. So in the first diagram, so nakikita nyo, so yung dalawang point na sa circle, and then meron siyang line. Yun yung tinatawag na second. So, line AB is a second. And sa so pangalawang diagram, yung isang point na lang yung nasa circle, yung point A. So, yan yung tinatawag na tangent. So, line AB in the second diagram is a tangent. And yung point A, yung nasa circle, yan yung tinatawag na point of tangency. Congruent circles. Yun yung mga circles, o dalawang circles, o higit pa, na may parehong radius or radii. Yung radii is plural form ng radius. So, for example to, circle M, yung radius niya is 5 cm. And yung circle T, yung radius niya is 5 cm. So, line MA is equal to line TH. At para sa lang 5 cm. So, congruent yung radius nila. Concentric circle, coplanar circles having the same center. So, dalawang circle yun, o higit pa, na iisa yung center. For example, to, circle X with the radius XY and circle X with the radius XZ are concentric circles. Dalawa yan na circle, pero iisa yung center nila. Look at the illustration. So, anong pangalan ng circle? So, nakikita nyo, yung nasa center is M. So, that is circle... M. Okay, name a radius. So, magsabi lang tayo ng radius. So, mula dito sa center, papunta sa any point of the circle. So, that is line MC. Line MC. Oh, isa lang daw kasi name a radius. So, ano pa bang ibang radius dito? Line JM, line FM, line ME, line AM. Okay, name a diameter. So, magsabi tayo ng isang diameter. So, ito. Line AF. Mas the chord na tumatama sa center. Ano pa yung isa? Line JE. Okay. And chord. So, yung line na hindi tumatama sa center. So, to line HD. Name the second. O second, yung dalawang point na tumatama sa line. Line IG. So that is line IG. So pansin nyo yung pagkakayaba ng symbol nila. Okay. Name the point of tangent C. So asan ba yung tangent dito? So ito B. So that is, lagay na lang natin dyan B. Wala ng symbol yan. So ito ang video natin para sa araw na ito. At sana nag-enjoy kayo at may bago kayo natutunan. At huwag kakalimutan mag-like, mag-share, at mag-subscribe at pindutin na rin ang notification bell para updated kayo sa mga bagong video.